I would first like to thank everyone for sacrificing a cold, gray winter up north and traveling down to sunny Palm Beach to celebrate the wonderful bride and groom. Colleen, you look absolutely beautiful. Dad, you are a lucky man. My mom, when she first started talking about Sean, I was down the shore lifeguarding and she would always bring him up, oh, guess who I saw today? I saw Sean. And it got to a point, I would come home after a long day of work and see her on the kitchen counter, looking at her phone, smiling and twirling her hair, saying, Paul, you're never gonna guess who texted me today. It's like, Mom, I, I have a guess. I it, it was Sean. And I had never seen her like that before with anyone or anything. She was just so excited. I could tell she was so giddy and really wanted it so badly. It reminded me of uh, like a high school girl having a crush on the stud quarterback and, it, it, and it still is true today, Sean, you're a stud, so I'm very thankful. I must say it has been nothing short of a joy to watch the two of you fall in love together. From the moment I saw you both together, I knew it was a match. I also had a feeling Colleen was legit when she didn't take off running after meeting us five kids. As the relationship kind of started to grow and grow, it made me really happy to see my mom getting to the first dates. I had never really seen her be nervous for anything at all, and she was so nervous, what should I wear? Why asking me? You're asking the wrong guy. And she was nervous, but I never felt that sense of nervousness just because my mom is such a joy to be around. <laughs>Colleen and Sean, we stand today with you. Take a look out there. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. And we have truly journeyed with you to this day with such joy and happiness in our hearts for the two of you. And as we heard last night at a, at a laugh and a cry fest that was called the rehearsal dinner, there were a lot of twists and turns, ups and downs in life that have brought you to this sacred moment. But God, from the moment he created the two of you, meant for you to be together today. Never give up on your hopes. You have prepared so much for this day. Not just the longing in your hearts that you would find one another and fall in love, but for this particular day. Today's your wedding day. There's never a time, I think all of us have witnessed this, that you're not holding hands together. There's not a time that you're not close to one another. But what God does to your hearts today is get, you will give the gift of your hearts to each other and God will bind them together forever in the beauty of this bond that we call marriage. Yes, it's taken a long time to get to this moment, but the joy and happiness is that the Lord has made this day because you have persevered in prayer, in love and in hope. Today, you begin your life together as husband and wife for the rest of your lives. I, Sean, take you, Colleen, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Colleen, take you, Sean, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. 
I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. When my dad, who's also my best friend and my hero, asked me to be his best man, I was elated. I began to reflect on who my dad is and what he's all about, and I arrived that anyone can be a father, but it takes someone special to be a dad. He and I, being the only boys in the pack for a while, rolled as a unit. He instilled in both the girls and I at a young age what life is all about, starting with faith, family, and friends. If you look around this room, Colleen and Dad, that's what today and this weekend has been all about. So when I finally got to meet Sean, he was just such a gentleman the whole time. and uh, I was really happy for my mom. The welcoming nature and uh, the kindness that he's always showed to us really made me feel like this is such a great match for my mom and always seeing them together they're always smiling always laughing together and it's just so nice to see my mom so happy and thank you sean for doing that for my mom. growing up the girls and i did not make it easy for you but we learned a ton from you you taught us your most important value which was respect you often told us whether it was the CEO of a company or the local trash man, in order for respect to be gained, it must be given. The generosity you have for not only your family and friends, but also to complete strangers is incredible. You show up when people need you to show up. That's the father, brother, son, uncle, and friend that we all know. Someone who simply shows up. It was about March, right before Sean had proposed to my mom. And I was out on the golf course, came home, checked my phone. I had all these missed calls from Kristen, from Sean, call Sean back. I had all these missed calls like, Jesus, what's going on? I was like, I, I think I have an idea what's going on here. Sean's finally gonna invite me to play around in Union League, something like that. But instead, I called him, ready to go. It's like, all right, where are we playing? When are we playing? He's like, Paul, as the man of the house, I'd like to ask for your mom's hand in marriage. And that really sealed the deal. I'm like, this guy is such a true gentleman. He really makes my mom happy. I was just so excited. And I knew as soon as you said that, I was like, wow, my mom is going to be like, Everything's all these nervous days before, waiting for a text, this and that. It's finally all coming together. And now everything about that today, this beautiful, beautiful ceremony, it's kind of all culminating today. And I'm so happy that everyone's here to share this together with us. And thank you again. Dad, I will be forever thankful for the day you walked into the Avalon Hardware Store and met the love of your life. <laughs> kind of funny, kind of funny, because we all know a screwdriver to my dad is a drink. <laughs> dad and Colleen, I love you both so much. I'm overly excited for the both of you and cannot wait to witness this next chapter you both embark on. Dad, thank you for being a father, a friend, a mentor, and most of all, my best man. I love you both so much. Let's raise a glass and celebrate the new Mr. and Mrs. Sean Rooney.
There. Why don't you say, oh, I just picked my nose. <laughs> It'll make the cut, don't worry. <laughs> lovingly to God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church. Well. <laughs>